Have you ever been told that investing in the market is like taking your money and going to the casino and gambling? We're going to debunk that myth here today. My name is Spencer Ford, CEO and Wealth Advisor with Conservative Financial Solutions and also a Certified Financial Planner Professional. Let's get into today's video. All right, so we're talking about investing in the market versus gambling at the casino. Well, when you go gambling at the casino, number one, my recommendation would be is hey, walk in there knowing that I'm planning on having a good time and I'm gonna spend money, I'm not gonna make money. When you walk into a casino, the odds are in the casino's favor. Typically, those odds are gonna be anywhere between a half a percent to 2% in the casino's favor, and that's not a big advantage, but over time, the longer you keep playing, the more likely you are going to be to lose money and hand your money over to the casino. And the casino is just playing the, the law of large numbers. They know some people are going to walk out winners, but they know the majority of those people are going to walk out losers, and that's how they make their money. So let's take that example and compare it to the market. Now, in today's video, we're going to be using the S&P 500 as an example. So this isn't taking into consideration all equities, all investments. We're just specifically looking at the S&P 500. So if you were to buy an index fund to the S&P 500, and that's essentially supposed to track the S&P 500. So you invested in that exchange traded fund, and maybe you're looking at it, and you're looking at it day in and day out, and it feels like, wow, it's up one day, it's down the next day. Well, on a single day basis, the S&P 500, it's 53% of the time it's going to be up, which means, hey, the other 40% of the time, 47% of the time, it's going to be down. So it is going to feel like it's up one day, it's down the next. But remember I told you with the casino, the longer you play, the more likely you are to lose. Well, let's look at that compared to the S&P 500. If you invest for a, an entire year, well, given the track rec record of the S&P 500, on an annual basis, it's going to be up 76% of the time as opposed to, hey, 53% of the time on a single day. If you invest for five years, there's a 92% chance, almost 93% chance that the, that the S&P 500 is gonna be up over that time frame, and on a 10-year period, up 97%. So there, there's a 97% probability that the S&P 500 will have grown over that 10-year period, meaning that if you were invested in that exchange-traded fund that's tracking the S&P 500 with some low tracking error, then yeah, there's pretty close to a 97% probability that you're going to be up over that time frame as well. And if we just look at it year in and year out here, that bears that there's certainly truth to that. So we're looking from 1926 to, to 2022, 71 positive years compared to 26 negative years. So I just want to encourage everybody, it's not like going to the, the, the casino and gambling with your money where at the casino, the longer you play, the more likely you are to lose. With the market, the longer you invest, specifically the S&P 500 we're talking about here, the longer you invest, the more likely you are to win. So keep on investing, stay the course. We're always going to have experience, we're all going to experience, all going to experience things like volatility on occasion, but those who invest for the long term are the ones who are most likely to be the winners. So I'm just encouraging you here to stay invested, stay focused, and we'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel so you can see, it, see the next video when it comes out. Thank you.